Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to build your own ICC team rating system. In case if you're not familiar with uh, what ICC team rating system is all about, you can re refer to this quick summary here. Uh, this is the most latest one available as of uh, November 2023. So in any sport, we have these uh, rating systems or the ranking system. The idea is to understand who's performing well uh, as of now. Right now, if you look at this table, so here we can see India, Australia, South Africa, Pakistan, New Zealand, right? So and so on. So we see the top 10 teams here. So often we only care about rankings, right? So who's number one, who's number two, right? So and uh, right so on and so on. But how are these rankings generated? What's the logic behind this, right? So in case if you want to build something on your own, right? So how can you approach it? So that is exactly what we are going to discuss in this entire video. So the most important uh, points to note here are these three things. Uh, what you can see is matches, points and rating, right? Based on these three, you get the ranking, right? So if you look at the ranking one, two, three, four, these are nothing but in, in the order of the ratings right so 121 the highest rated team is obviously rank number one and the second highest rated team is rank number two right and how are these ratings being generated right so what are these points what are these matches right icc calculates these ratings for a particular period it could be two years it could be three years right it's not clearly defined but it's it's for a particular period of time let's say three years right so what this table says is in a three year window right so let's say november 2020 to november 2023 so india has played a total of 52 matches and acquired these many points right? So we'll come to uh, understand these about how these points are calculated in the later part of the video right so they have acquired a rating of 121 Right. So similarly, Australia has played 38 matches. They've gained these many points and hence their rating is uh, this much. Now, what is the relationship between these matches, points and rating? It's very simple. If you take India alone, right? So India 52 and uh, points is 6290. And if you just divide these points by matches, you get this 120.9 and rounding it off, you'll get 121, which is actually the rating of Indian team right so very simple now in case if we want to build a rating system or even right so ICC would have done the same when they initially started uh, calculating these ratings right so you have to start somewhere right for example I can take let's say four teams India South Africa Australia and New Zealand and assign an initial rating of 100 for every team so why are we assigning uh, the same for every team? It's just like assume it's like a running race, right? So everyone starts at a same starting position. So even here we are assuming same points because, right? So we want to assume that everyone is starting at some starting position. Now, what does this initial rating mean, right? So we already understood the relationship between rating matches and points. So for example, here you can see so I've uh, noted down 10 matches, 1000 points, so 1000 divided by 10 gives us a rating of 100, right? So here you can also uh, assume it like match number one points are 1000, right? It's safe to assume that 10, uh, right? So multiples of 10 is easier number to start, right? So yes, so initial rating of 100 matches 10 and points 1000. Okay. So now let's say they are playing against each other, right? So how does this points change? How does this rating change? So let us try to understand that using an Excel sheet, right? So let's get our hands dirty. All right, so here we have our Excel sheet ready. Uh, let's say uh, the first match, let's put match here and uh, let's also put teams which are playing team a team b 
and uh, let us put a winner label as well right so i'll just put a table for this now match number one let's say it's uh, india versus new zealand and uh, india won this match right so just like the first semi-final now uh okay so here we've already uh, assumed that initial rating will be 100 right so uh we we are more interested in understanding how these ratings are generated once the match is uh, once the match is over right now let's do uh, the calculation for both the teams so let's say we start with india now for india first we need to understand all the old uh, like all the existing ones existing values right so old matches uh, we already know which is 10 uh, then old points uh, we also know this uh, to be a thousand and uh, this gives us an old rating of about 100 right now uh, the new values right so what do we know about these new values right so new matches will be because they've played one match so it is 10 plus 1 it goes 11 now new points right so we have to know what are these new points and uh, we need to calculate them and uh, new rating right what is the new rating so this is also something that we don't know we need to calculate uh, both of these values all right so the formula to calculate new points it's very very uh, simple formula but a very tricky one as well so just pay attention to this now because india has won right so the points will be the points gained by india will be different from what new zealand also gains right so now winners points right winner points are the formula here is old point whatever old points that you had plus your opponent points i mean your opponent rating right plus 50 so this gives you the winner point similarly the loser points whoever loses uh, the loser points are nothing but uh, old points plus opponent rating minus 50 because they lost the match right uh, you may understand so David why are we adding why are both teams gaining the points right so uh, like the loser team should actually lose the points right yes I'll help you understand that right so just we'll go one step at a time here now let us try to calculate India's points so India's new points will be so new points of India will be so what are the old points let's put here thousand plus uh, opponent's rating is 100 now 100 plus 50 so this translates right so 1000 plus 150 it's 1150 right so now when we divide this 1150 with the matches played you will get the rating right so now you can see the rating has improved once again so yes why am i doing this we are calculating the new rating which is nothing but your new points 1150 by new matches which is 11 right so which turned out to be 104.5 let's recall this once again so new points what is the formula old points plus opponent rating plus 50 and loser points is old points plus opponent rating minus 50 right so your new rating will be your new points by new matches which is 104.5 so let us try to calculate the same uh, for new zealand as well so here i'll i'll just copy these right so old uh, and new are exactly same i'll just get straight to the points right so new points for new zealand will be thousand their existing points plus 100 which is india's rating opponent's rating minus 50 right so now which will translate to 10 50 right okay now the new rating for new zealand will be the new points by 
new matches so you can simply calculate this value below here so this will give you 95.5 right so let's put the same value in the top in the new ratings column so this will give us 95.5 so in this case what we see is because both the teams are equally rated right so whatever india has gained so new zealand has lost right so 4.5 points gained by india right are so lost by new zealand right so now so i have a sheet uh, like which actually represents the current world cup so let us try to do the same calculation for the world cup at least uh, right so what at least for the first 10 matches right so that will be very interesting let's let's take a look at this right so the first five matches are straightforward uh, as we see right so we assume 100 every team is at a rating of 100 so here uh, let me just tell you what are each what does each column represent so here you have match basically match number ta stands for team a then team b then winner of the match uh, ta that means team a old rating team b old rating team a new rating team b new rating right so here uh, right so i'll pause the video here you should be able to calculate it on your own just try writing the formula uh, right so just pause for a second right so if you're not able to uh, like get or recall right so just play back and uh, you'll be able to sort it out right so here i'm just writing it directly here so this will be current points which is thousand plus opponent's rating is hundred and uh, whoever is the winner so here did team a win no they haven't right so yes i have to sub subtract 50 points so that will be their uh, new points right so new points and i'll put extra brackets here and divide it by the new matches which is 11 right so now you can see 95.5 right and uh, here uh, team b has won right so team b's rating so here i can say thousand plus opponent's rating plus 50 because they won the match right and divided by 11 so this will give you 104.5 right so very simple again so let's uh, do the calculation here we will end up uh, getting uh, like the winner will get 104.55 and the loser will get 95.45 i'm just quickly filling up uh, these values here for all the winners so let us add two additional columns which will give us the points team a new points and team b new points so in this case uh, what we saw already uh, the loser has about 1050 points and the winner has about 1150 points if you just fill up these values very quickly okay so now things are very interesting so let us try to uh do it for new zealand and netherlands so let's see what happens here right now new zealand uh, what is the old rating for new zealand so where is new zealand here so new zealand is right on the top so we'll take new zealand value which is 104.5 and uh, netherlands so let's look at where netherlands is so netherlands is right here okay so now uh yes so in amongst these two teams so new zealand has managed to win let's see how we can calculate this first things first we need to calculate uh, the new points first right so to calculate the new points we need to know old points so here uh, new zealand's new points will be its old points 1150 because they won their first match plus opponent's ratings which is 95.45 and uh, did the win or lose they won this match so plus 50 right and divide it by number of matches so in this case it will be okay so we don't need to divide so we are just calculating the points here so this will be the points so 1295.45 and the new rating will just be this points by number of matches which is 12 
okay now we can see that new zealand rating has further increased to 107.95 so similarly let us try to calculate for netherlands so yes let's try to calculate their points first the points will be 1050 because they lost their first match then uh, you add 100 no not 100 what is the new zealand's rating opponent's rating is 104.55 and minus 50 because they lost the match okay so now you can see netherlands new points are 1104.55 so how do we get the rating we take the points divided by matches now we see that the netherlands rating has reduced a bit right so they have reduced uh, rates by 3.4 you can see uh, 92.05 and 107.95 right so this is how right so you can calculate keep calculating uh, the values i'll I'll fill up all of these values. I would highly recommend you guys to fill up these values on your own. And uh, you can also do it uh, for the entire uh, World Cup campaign as well. So let me know if you would be interested in a video where you can automate all of this stuff in just few clicks. Right. So I can make a complete video on that aspect as well. Right. So for the entire World Cup. Right. So if you want it, definitely comment down below right so so that's all for this video hope you liked it hope you learned something out of this video which is uh, the icc team rating system right so in the next video i'll come up with another exciting uh, project uh, that you can do in cricket analytics that's all for this video thanks for watching if you like this video do like the video comment right, whatever your thoughts are